Hey YouTube, this is Flakjack in 1000 here, and today I'll be showing you how to make the hammer, and uh, also showing you a little bit on again about uh, printing out from the blueprints, because I got a couple questions about that. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. So um, I found a small pin, uh, as you can see right there, in a box of random metal objects and uh, so I'll just go ahead and pull that out well first I'll show you how it works you know the hammer of course cocks back and when the mainspring's pushing up from behind um, underneath it springs it back up I'll push the pin pull the pin out oh. dropped it then take the hammer out I haven't completed the I haven't glued the two, three pieces together so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so what you have here is three pieces to the hammer. And uh, that is because this middle piece, when it, it goes in the middle, what it does is allows room for the um, for the, ham the strut to go through. The strut is the, pe the long piece that uh, goes into the mainspring housing that pushes up on the hammer anyway so yeah that separates the two pieces in the middle so that you have something like this where there's like a space in the middle so, kinda like that but anyway what you do is you go on the blueprints and find the hammer and um, what you're going to do is, you, all you're going to worry about is this view right here to the right. This one to the right. And that's because it has it's the inside view. And it shows the uh, spacer piece in the middle. And also, it's also the whole shape itself. So what you want to do is, um, for the two outside pieces, right here, uh, each of those is going to be 0 0.095 inches and uh, not about 19 pieces each. So each of these outer uh, pieces here. And then the middle piece right here, it goes in the middle, uh, is 0 0.116 inches, which is approximately 23 pieces. And uh, I printed off on my MacBook Pro. Uh, I just put it on 50% print and did it. And um, on here I'm not sure what it would be. But uh, when you do the outside pieces you'll just cut around the outer edge and uh, do it you know, 19 times or whatever, how many, however many times it takes. Measure as you go of course. And then uh, for the inside piece, you'll instead of going around this, you'll you'll cut through the middle right here on this line, and then go around. And uh, that you'll co of course cut that piece out uh, 23 about 23 times to make it 0.116. Um, and then after that, if you layer those, it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, I'll suggest cut, cutting your holes before you put it on and I have one more hole to cut this one right here on the edge that uh, you'll see right there that hole I, I still need to cut that before I glue the outer edges on to the middle but uh, it's pretty straightforward you just line them up and there you go but it see I put the um, disconnector slot in there and I still need to kinda polish it up a little bit because it's still kinda messy but I uh, when I put the hammer in there it fits perfectly and I drilled the hole through there not completely uh, on the little dot but it's fine it does fine um, other than that all is going pretty good so far uh, if you're building this following along let me know how your 1911 is going and uh, leave leave a comment in the the comment box below and uh, so until next time, thanks for watching.